So I think we're gonna be doing away very soon with the mocap suits and the expensive studios because now you can capture just from raw video. So there's no sensors, this is not a special camera, this is just simple video. Um, and the algorithm, whatever it is, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, was able to figure out where the bodies are. And most impressively, it's able to guess the occluded parts, like what's on the other side of that arm, because it can't see that, but it's guessing. Um, and it's doing an amazing job at it. So I think it's in the future, they're not gonna have mocap suits. They'll just film the actors doing whatever, and that's gonna be it. In this video, I will compile all the motion data capture systems that I am personally aware of while listing their prices. Links can be found in the video description from most expensive to most affordable, I'm going to show off the most expensive at the beginning and then the affordable options come at the second half of the video. Each option has its pros and cons, which I will only touch on some of them, and only list basic information. Okay great, let's begin. The first motion data capture suit is called XSense, which you probably know about already. The only way to find the exact prices is to request a quote, a video on YouTube with a XSense representative, said that prices that range from $12,000 to $32,000. Indie developers that are a registered company, can get a 50% discount on a window for $7,600 and $12,400 for MVN link. XSense has been used in movies, like Avengers Infinity War, Thor Ragnarok, and games like Just Cause 3. It's one of the best motion data capture suits, and one look at random YouTube videos for XSense will make you want to own one. If you can spend that money without flinching, my DMs are open hee hee. On to the second. The second motion data capture suit is called Nansense, starting full body at $6,300, and has an academic discount of $1,700, dropping it to $4,600. It also has its own gloves for finger tracking, for $5,800. It has other price offerings, but I'm not too sure if it's required to buy, or what. So it's listing sync systems for $2,500 which I'm not sure what that is, and a one-time fee of $1,800 for software, and $1,500 for skins and gloves. Totaling $18,000 without discounts, assuming you need all of that. One look at Nansense videos on YouTube, shows some pretty impressive data recordings for both body tracking and fingers. I also like how upfront they are about their prices. Moving on, the third motion data capture suit is called Perception Neuron Studio by Nodium, which is an inertial mocap system and was just announced at SIGGRAF 2019, just last week actually. It's available for pre-order and launches September 2019, for the low price of $6,000 USD for full body. You can get $2,000 off if you own an XSense or Rococo suit, knocking it down to $4,000, and if you bought the $4,500 Pro, you can send it back and get $2,000 off. Perception Neuron Studio has finger tracking gloves too, as add-ons. I believe it's wireless like the Pro, I mean it better be at that price. However, the new Perception Neuron Studio gloves for finger tracking is not included with the $6,000 purchase. No prices are available for the add-ons right now, and the finger tracking glove isn't compatible with the previous suit Perception Neuron Pro. I don't think the finger tracking add-on is going to be cheap, moving on to the next offering. The fourth motion data capture suit is called Shadow Motion Capture System, for $4,000 according to 2018 price PDF list, and they want you to pay an additional $4,000 for a lifetime license for their software, otherwise pay $200 each month. You'll probably be wanting the software, so, after two years, you get an automatic lifetime license. No finger tracking. The data looks okay according to the official videos, but it's not well known or used, and I'm not seeing many YouTube videos showing it off. Another thing to point out, is how thin the wires are looking. I don't know if the software is worth the price of the suit, but okay. Next one. The fifth motion data capture suit is called Perception Neuron Pro, which costs $4,500, and up until a week ago, it was Perception Neuron's top offering. It's wireless, and has quick setup times compared to the previous version, but the big downside was that it doesn't have finger tracking. You again, cannot use a new studio glove with it. The sixth motion data capture suit is called Rococo, and it costs $2,500. We're finally entering consumer-friendly territory pricing-wise. Rococo doesn't have finger tracking yet, but it will in the later part of 2019. It has a bunch of add-ons, such as a Rococo iPhone facial capture option for $49 a month, or $39 annually, I don't think the other suits offer facial tracking alongside your body tracking. Setup times are pretty amazing and YouTube footage shows the recorded data is good. <laughs> The seventh motion data capture suit is Perception Neuron V2. It costs $1,800 and has lots of active support everywhere, and it's one of the most popular motion data capture suits for indies. Build quality wise, version 2 improved quite a bit over the previous, and the mocap data seems okay to me if you calibrate correctly. 
It also has finger tracking, which comes with the $1,800 kit. All the other options only come with up to 20 sensors max, but this one comes with a whopping 32. That's a lot of tracking data. Some people have said they are worried about the build quality, but they have replacement parts for just about everything, even if a sensor goes bad you can replace them for $30 per. It's really hard to beat Perception Neuron V2 with all that it has to offer. So that concludes the majority of smart suits, the next one is a by OptiTrack, except most of the tech is in the cameras not the suit. The cheapest camera offer costs about $8,000 for 6 of them, with better and more camera options quantity going up to $50,000 or more. You require a large clear space, and it's wireless, lots of pros, and great capture data. Vicon is another, but the website doesn't look as friendly, so I'm just going to move on hee hee. Ipisoft is markerless motion capture software for Kinect, and you can alternatively use PS3 eyes, it costs $345 for a year license, and a lifetime license at around $700. It's one of the most affordable options for good motion capture data and also my primary motion data capture system that I've been using for over a year. They also have a competition running every 3 months, which gives you a shot at a year license. Highly recommend 2 Connect version 2s for first timers over PS3 eyes. It has a 30 day free trial. Project Orion is a VR mocap solution, where you use your existing Vive virtual reality headset and controllers alongside Vive trackers and base stations for full body tracking. That's $796 for the before mentioned Vive system with everything. Okay and then you need Project Orion itself which sells for $483 so that's $1300. But if you already own a Vive system and possibly trackers, Orion might be worth looking at with some good full body tracking. Glycon is another VR mocap solution, except it's much cheaper than Project Orion and is in a heavy development phase. You can buy into Glycon for only $50, but you only get one update after that, or you can go for the pro version for $100 which gives you updates for a year and it has a $400 option which covers all future updates. I personally used it with Windows Mixed Reality and it convinced me to finally upgrade to a Vive system. Cuz hey, it will probably have finger tracking support on the new index controllers. If you already have a Vive system and Vive trackers, Glycon might just be for you. It also plans a sort of online multiplayer to mocap with others across the world in the future. And now to conclude the list, Cordata is a motion capture system that you can build yourself. It's still in beta development and won't be available until the end of the year, but they have plans to offer pre-assembled kits, so you can build your own system. Right now we don't know how much it will cost, but for motion capture on a budget, sure data is something to pay attention to at the end of the year. A lot about how motion capture is done while you build it. Okay so, if I didn't list something or forgot one, then I'm sorry. I looked around and dug into systems that are worthy of being used for game development and animation in 2019. So really anything risk-based was not included. Well that's it for me in this video. I hope you found a system that interests you and hopefully this video wasn't a waste of your time. Thanks for watching, Fruity Boop out.